Hi, beautiful people. There's so much to cover here. A whole day in Iceland. I have a whole video coming after this one of an entire day of Iceland. It was a lot, but one very specific thing happened. And for you to understand its significance, I have to tell you about a very personal thing that's going on in my life. And that is that um, my best friend of 17 years asked for a divorce. That was in August, it is now November. And we filed yesterday and I made a post about it on Instagram, Facebook, and the community tab here on YouTube. If you would like to speak to that, I would appreciate it if you would put those comments there because they're hard to read when I'm actually having a good day or doing okay or feeling better, you know, and I want to talk to people or answer comments and I'd like to keep it there. This is about something that I want to know your experiences of I know, I'm like, the mushrooms are sentient. <laughs> I understand the living things being sentient, but wind? And if this hadn't happened to me, I would absolutely know. I could tolerate someone saying mushrooms and trees are sentient, but if somebody told me they experienced the wind as a sentient, I'd be like, okay, because I'm still learning. I'm still on a journey from being a very science-based person to understanding all of this other stuff because of entheogens. So I want to tell you what happened to me. So he told me that he wanted a divorce like five days before I had to get on a plane and go to Europe for a month to film this documentary. I was gutted, I was devastated, it was painful. Um, the very beginning of that trip was just really bad and I wound up doing a high dose psilocybin experience with a shaman because I was non-functional. And you can go watch that report about that experience and how I came out of that and what I learned. And I'm glad I did it. It enabled me to move on with the rest of that trip that I had to do to work, right? And with each passing week, I felt better and better. But I mean, 17 years, he's, in here and so the very last thing that i had scheduled to do was go to iceland and then home i didn't realize i would be facing coming home to what i was going to be coming home to so things happened while i was in europe and uh, they're also important to the story so our bills come out of a mutual account and speaking of money, so let me tell you about my Christmas store of November 25th, 2022. I've been working all summer on unique, one of a kind, one time only things that I'm gonna put in my store, but also stuff that I found in antique stores on my journeys through Europe. I did that on purpose. There's a lot of cool stuff. It's at mushroomvoice.com. I hope you go look at it. You can see it all, it's all listed. You just can't buy anything yet. So please support me. This is how I pay the bills and bring you everything that I bring you and all of the content that I can't put on YouTube about this mushroom, the one that looks like this. And it is all at, my, at uh, amityadreamer.net. All of that stuff costs money to support it. So support me. And then I'm also gonna thank the person that gave me this hat. Let me keep talking about this. So. I don't want to say a lot of um, private stuff about what's going on between the two of us. And, and I know you hate it when people do that and you want to know the juicy stories. But this has been my best friend for 17 years and there's no way I want to say anything negative publicly. And whatever we work out, we work out. There's two sides to every story. I know how he sees me and his perceptions of everything. We've had very long discussions. So, you know, I'm not, that's not what this is about. But one of the things that happened was, um, as soon as I left, things started changing here at my home that I couldn't do anything about. I felt powerless and helpless from a distance. Other people were involved, things were happening. It was very upsetting and nerve wracking and an extremely painful way for things to have happened and to put me in that situation, the closer that, the longer that trip went on and the closer I got to having to come home, 
the more upset I got and the more panicky I got because I didn't know what it was gonna be coming home to. I'm glad I had the Iceland trip because it prepared me in a way that I just, I didn't know was a thing. So the other video that I'm gonna make after this and upload after this, it's gonna be more like a cin cinematic of that whole day. At the end of that whole day in Iceland, it was outside of Reykjavik. Uh, I'll put the name of the park, the national park that I went to, but I was just wanting to go see some geysers and waterfalls. And something kept pulling me as I was driving away and it was at late, late, late afternoon and I wasn't sure how quickly the sun goes down or whatever, but I was in a rental car, I was gonna be fine. But I just kept feeling this sense of getting out of that vehicle away from human beings and where I was, you know, people, cause it's waterfalls, geysers. So I just got in the car and drove in the middle of nowhere, away from civilization and people. And all of a sudden there was a turn, a dirt road. And I'm like, I just felt something tell me to take it. So I took it and I drove and drove and drove. When I tell you I was in the middle of nothingness, And there was this mountain and a lake. And I pulled up and all of a sudden, I just felt the heaviness of losing my best friend. At this point, it had been a month. He asked what he asked and then he left. And I didn't see him until I left and then I hadn't seen him in a month. And so many things I had experienced on that trip to Europe that I wanted to tell him about and I couldn't. And it had just been a really pretty awful experience and I'd been really just going and busy and so that moment when I got out of that car it all just sort of really the weight of the loss and the emptiness that I could not tell him about Iceland it just hit hard and the grieving and the weight so I went and played up on the edge of the mountain or whatever and I came down from it and I sat on this rock and I just started sobbing, just the weight of the grieving just in my chest. It was so heavy and deep. And it just, all of a sudden the wind kicked up. I am used to wind. I've been on planet earth for a long time now. I love the wind. I've experienced hurricanes. I love wind. It's my favorite thing. Sticking my head out the window in a car and a train or whatever. Like the wind is the thing. I love wind, but it's just wind. It's just wind, but it's beautiful, very cleansing. But this wind, it was cold. And I, okay, I'm gonna do my best, bear with me. I'm a human without the words. I'm gonna try to find the words. I was standing there feeling the amazingness, winds blowing, I'm just grieving, I'm sad, I'm hurting. This doesn't even count the power of Iceland. That's like a whole other video. That's a whole other conversation of the land. The land? Maybe you can help me in the comments section with that standing on that grounding on that land and just feeling the earth take it. And all of a sudden, as the wind was blowing, it felt very powerful. And then all of a sudden it felt like a living person hugging me. The same way it would feel if someone really big that you love just walked up and enveloped you and just held you. That's exactly what it felt like. And I was like, the fuck? But it, it was so powerful and so quick, the same way an entheogen is, how you are just powerless of it. Just like all of a sudden it takes you and like the things that start happening happen. It was like that. And it wrapped me and then it just came. The, the words said, welcome. We feel your pain. 
and we're here to help. What do you need? What would you like? It was powerful, but very, very stable and soothing, but assured. Like it had been doing this, the longevity of it felt like millions of years. Like what? And I just started, I said, I miss him so much. It hurts so much. He's everything. I don't know how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to live without my best friend, and it hurts so much. And then the wind kicked up, and it, it swirled around me in a circle. It blew really hard in this direction, and then it was just, and I felt lifted up. And I could feel this sense of it starting in my feet and moving up, this lightness. It's, it, and it just kept lifting up until it was just gone. And all of a sudden, like, I felt this really deep breath and this settling and then this calm and the tears stopped immediately, just. And the voice said, he was in you. This is why it has been so painful. His energy is intertwined into your cells of your body. We have removed it. It should be much easier for you now. You can let it go. You can let him go. He will always be around. He will always be in your story and a part of all of your memories. But he is part of the earth. You are part of the earth. This pain has been given back. The wind has taken it and we mix it with the all that is. You have donated to that. Your joy and your beauty will also give to that. But we have let him go and you need to let this wind take that pain, take that union, take that self Ness that you were away and in its place now we fill you with the power of yourself and your solidarity and the love of the earth and the companionship of the wind the north wind knows all the north wind heals this is our job this is our work we do it with love he is no more let it go. And in that moment, there was no sadness. There was no pain. And I could feel the last wisps and pieces of him leaving my body. And I grabbed my phone and I took a picture. I didn't change where I was looking or what it felt like. I just, I had to fumble for my phone and like, it up and then just take the picture because I wanted to see was anything coming off of me and I couldn't I want to show you the picture this is the moment I let him go I didn't think the picture would come out I didn't know if I'd gotten myself centered in it or not. I just put the phone back in my pocket and I just stood there for the longest time with the wind blowing and it felt like it was doing closing up things. There were lots of things moving inside my body. It felt like cells that had been sort of pieces of it ripped away where the loose ends were sort of getting healed up, tidied up, like in my whole body, like all of my cells. And I knew, I could feel it. I knew, I knew he was gone from my body. I knew I had let him go. And that the rest of the work was gonna be the sadness. My, my human experience is sadness. But that I could feel that part of him being in my body, the, the way he was connected to me was gone. I've never experienced anything like that, but I understand now what they say about the North Wind. And I just sat there for a long time feeling the wind and all that healing that was happening. And when I got up to walk away, I felt so weird, so different. How do you suddenly not have someone in you that 
those cells, those energies, those connections had been built over a very long time, just gone suddenly so quickly. Like, it's so weird. There's just so much weird, there's so much weird about that experience of the one, first of all, the wind being cold but not feeling cold, two, the wind being sentient, three, that feeling happening, four, learning that's actually feeling how someone else is connected to you inside your body, like not just their energy, but that something very physical is connected and then it being removed from your body that quickly and that how different you can feel suddenly when that happens, but yet the sadness and the grieving are still very much in your heart as a completely separate thing. It's the most bizarre experience. I came home to a lot of trauma. What I came home to, I don't wish on anyone. And as the two of us tried to work toward negotiating the terms of the parting and all the legal stuff, the conversations that ensued, beautiful ones, gut-wrenching ones, angry ones, betraying ones, actions and things that happened. It was a very long, another like almost two months of just sheer gut-wrenching trauma, followed by filing yesterday. So I'm just now at a point where I feel like I can sit in front of the camera again. <laughs> There's a lot of relief in, in one, that high dose psilocybin trip, two, Amanita, and how it supports grieving in the heart, which I'll make another video about, and then three, the north wind and what it did, and then four, however painful those were, those conversations between the actual human and this one, working that stuff out and then filing. It's all of moving through all of that has put me in this place where I can sit in front of the camera again finally. I'm sorry it's so long. I don't know how to explain that when I walked away from that experience, he wasn't in me anymore. And yet, it's still excruciatingly painful and sad and I cry every fucking day. But, I walk around with this solidarity inside myself that he's not in this anymore. And he hasn't been in here for two months. That feels good and I can Im only imagine how much more awful this would be. Like I wouldn't be working every day and taking care of my house and being functional. I would feel the body weight of it and being in bed a lot and not able to move. Like it would just be sh just crippling, heavy. You know, my whole body weight, heavy. I don't have that. I did right up until that experience with the North Wind. And I will be forever grateful to it. I don't know how to explain that. And I wonder how much of the wind that's here, like I watched the news with the jet stream and when the North Wind comes down, the jet stream dips and that North Wind comes down, I'm definitely gonna go be in it. And I wanna know what your experiences are is that just an Iceland thing? Is that a North Wind everywhere thing? Like, do you experience it in other Northern regions? If you want to know when I'm, like I've got a winter solstice ceremony coming up in December in San Francisco. In January, I'm doing a dosing workshop on this, if you want to take it. But if you want to know about this stuff, in the store opening, the newsletter is only comes out once a month if you want to get that. I announce all this. But if you just want to see what's going on, go to amnitadreamer.net and click on the events tab and jump in, you know. Anyway, back to saying hi to you guys. Sorry I was off camera for so long. I've been dealing with a mountain of shit. Being human and continuing to evolve and grow and move and be more of what Amanita asks of me where I know Amnita Dreamer is headed and going. And when we try to be our authentic selves, sometimes we just can't take everybody with us. And when they're also using this path of entheogenic and spiritual work, sometimes they can't take us with them. 
and I honor the grieving and I honor the path and the journey and I honor everything that I have at my disposal, not only the entheogens and all of their forms, but the amazing friends that have helped me on this journey, looking at you, a death to psychonautica and the patrons and the community that have supported me through every bit of this. They, we've been talking while I was in Europe and they've been supporting me through this. Um, that's at Mushroom Voice if you want to become one. Mushroomvoice.com community there. And I appreciate all of your positivity, beauty, and kindness. And I honor my body and my meat sack and the fact that it still has to grieve. And I honor the changes that I have to keep going through as a human and what they all mean. And my dear best friend of 17 years, if you happen to see this, I've blocked him from the channel because I just needed that space. But if he happens to find this later, if we ever get to a point where we can talk again after you're long gone and we're both in a better place, I hope you go to Iceland and experience it. And to the rest of you, I hope you know what the north wind can do and i hope you get to experience it they love you beautiful people and i want to thank maggie for my hat and i want to tell you that the cards that you gave me in here they got separated and i want to talk to you about this and the other hat can you message me on instagram at amanita dreaming please It will be touch and go that I can and can't make videos and talk to you. So just bear with me as I get all these videos made, as I feel like I can, the waves of pain and crying come and go. We'll get through it. All right, I love you beautiful people. Thank you, bye.